Well, welcome back to The Outdoor Life. As you guys well know, one of my things in uh, recording my activities in the outdoors is good audio. Uh, video is, is great, but if you don't have good audio, your videos are not going to just be there. So it's my job to make sure that uh, you guys have the best tools at hand. As weekend warriors, we have to spend our money wisely and we have to cut corners where we can and make choices. Now, when it comes to audio, I have found an inexpensive solution that doesn't really cut a lot of corners. As a matter of fact, it has a, a bunch more punch to it than some of my more expensive um, camera gear. This is the CVM uh, VM20 from Comica and it's a shotgun mic. It works really well. I'm going to be playing you some footage that I recorded on uh, uh, another review that I did earlier. But this thing really does rock. It's it comes in at a at a buck twenty nine, and it outperforms my three hundred and fifty dollar mics and some of my other expensive ones as well. One of the things that I really like about it is it has an adjustable gain on the mic right here. As you can see, you've got it all the way from zero to 10. So you have the ability to adjust the gain on there. This thing has a, an output that will go into either a camcorder or a, a cell phone. It has two high cut passes on it for the wind noise. It does come with a foam insert that you can use to knock down some of your um, plosives if you're using it for interviews and stuff. But it also comes with this wind sock, as you saw I just pulled off, so for when it's windy out. And and I'm not a big fan of the sock kind of uh, air, um, dead cats, but it, it does work. Um, it does work together. I would rather it was all one, so it's just on and off a lot easier and quicker, but it, but it does work. Um, the other thing that I really like about it is is that it has a, a it's all battery powered inside here. So everything is being charged inside the mic itself. So it does not need phantom power. And you can click the on and off button and it does give you a visual indication of the battery. Now to tell you the truth, unless I've left this on overnight, I have yet to dump this battery on a whole weekend um, of camping and doing all kinds of activities with it. So it works really well. I use it on my camcorder, I use it on my DSLR. I mean, this thing is small enough that you can even use it on a GoPro. You can just slide this right on here and you're good to go on a GoPro and you can use it to do all kinds of different kind of filming and stuff. You can move the shock mount back and forth um, so that it's not in the picture. I shoot in linear mode so don't you don't generally see it. But as you can see it's really small and compact and does really well. I've even done a few um, um, zoom meeting calls with this to see how well it would work in a studio environment and because it's a shorter shotgun it's 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 not picking up so much room reverb um, on the sides here it's knocking it out very well but the other thing is is it knocked out the TV in the other room because I'm I've got a home office it knocked out some of the dogs barking outside and some other noises going on in the house so I was able to do the zoom meeting uh, without having to shut my door or anything like that, telling everybody and the grandkids, oh, you got to be quiet, you got to be quiet. No, I didn't have to do any of that. Um, this thing worked really well. I'm going to go ahead and throw up some audio that I recorded on here with this. I know proof is in the pudding, and you're going to want to hear what it sounds like in a real-life situation. Again, this is a winner. Welcome to Lake Tawakini State Park. I don't know a lot about this park. Um, I've never been here before. This is actually my first Texas State Park. And uh, so far it seems pretty cool. There's the lake over there. It's a pretty big lake. Drive here was not too bad. It's a little windy today. So I tried it on a camping trip and it didn't work really well. Uh, my Verizon phone did a lot better than this did. 
um, it would only get like one and a half, maybe two um, meg megabits down. I uh, just, it didn't, it didn't connect very well. All right, now you guys have heard the Kamika in my truck. You have heard it in the woods. You have heard it in my studio. And now you're gonna hear it on my electric skateboard. So this thing will do, right now I have it set for about 12, 14 miles an hour. Uh, we're gonna give it a try. I have it on a GoPro 9 and I have the the wind muff and the dead cat on here so that you can hear it. It is a little windy out here but it's not too bad um, so we're gonna get a real good indication of what it sounds like um, at speed here in a few minutes. Uh, right now we're doing about 10 miles an hour so I'll do a little bit more than that. Um, you can hear it in the different directions um, but this has turned out to be a uh, very nice little compact setup. I use it a lot when I am on uh, out on the road, hiking, biking, and things like that. Uh, and it works really well for that kind of stuff. Sorry, I had to let a car go past. But uh, it works really well. I like it better than the road micros. Um, I get better sound quality, and like I mentioned earlier, the ability to adjust the gain is really sweet. It does have a filter on here to uh, cut the wind noise out. I do not have it turned on. I wanted to leave it raw. Um, but we're cooking right now at about 14 miles an hour. So you are gonna hear a little bit of wind, but it's not gonna be much at all.